Young man is a phenomenal role model for people, not just in the Bristol, Connecticut, in the state of Connecticut, but just anybody who loves to play basketball. As we got a closer look at the jacket inside, as he remembers his mom, Stacy. I, I talked to Danny Hurley a couple days ago. He got emotional talking about him. He said he got an NIL deal. He wanted to make sure his teammates got the money mm. and that he could share it. I mean, there is Dan Hurley right now celebrating. Second time UConn had multiple top 10 picks. The last time, 20 years ago, with Okafer and Gordon, there is Klingon's dad, of course, Bill, all smiles as well. Very proud of his son. By the way, backstory with this young man. He was a seven footer in high school in Bristol, right? He would still landscape and he would still shovel snow at like one in the morning and then make his workouts at 5.30 a.m. each and every day. Would you do that? Well, well, yeah, of course I would do stuff like that. I didn't grow up with a silver spoon. Uh, you know, I was out there uh, mowing the lawn, uh, doing what I had to do. Uh -huh. No, no, listen, but here's the thing, until I was interrupted. Um, <laughs> Kevin, it's all part of the story, Yeah. Right? I mean, most people that are successful have a story, and most times the story's hard. And he has had a very difficult journey to get here, whether it was the, what you alluded to, losing a mother at, at, at that time in your life. Mm -hmm. um, that's tragic. That, and, to, and to see how he's honoring her is um, it's a tremendous tribute. And I think that he is in a spot where he's going to play a lot. And I heard what Stephen A. said. Uh, that team still needs a lot of help. But Klingon has proved he can block shots. He's a great rebounder. Uh, talking to people in the workouts, they said his shot is better than people think, the mechanics. But no, I, I, he looks like a guy, I'm just going to make an assumption here, that people want to play with. He sounds like a good teammate. He sounds like a winner. And those are all parts of succeeding in the NBA. Those are all parts of winning. And I think this guy's already shown he's got two championships. He knows how to win. And he won a state high school championship to add to that. <clears throat> I lost my mom at age 49, battle of cancer. And you deal with that and you live with that every day of your life. You just, you just you don't hey, get away. Interrupt? I just lost my mom at 49. Same thing. Wow. Yeah. 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 No, it, 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 you know, it's devastating. Yeah. And But what happens is to be that young and to go out there and to be a part of a program, it doesn't just speak to him. It speaks to the program. It speaks to Danny Hurley. There's something inside of you that just drives you to be the very, very best you can be because the person that supported you the most unconditionally, you're swearing to them and yourself, you'll never let them down. And so from a character perspective, there's nothing to question about this guy. His game is a lot of pluses. I'm just looking at Portland in terms of what their needs are, yeah. and I'm saying you had other needs, but obviously there's nothing to sneeze at when it comes to this guy, no doubt about it. And and you nailed it with moms. I lost my mom when I was 47 two years ago. It, it never leaves. It, 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 it's it, it, always never, there. Yeah, never. never. And he's carrying his mom's spirit tonight. And uh, Stacy is looking down with a smile as he is, of course, going to Portland to start his career in the NBA.